already. <laughs> I'm sorry I started this and then I stopped. This is Muhammad Shiban. The reason I'm taping this video, I'm gonna repeat myself, is for the FBI because he keep harassing me for the longest time and telling me who did what and when. And we're very concerned, Mr. Shiban. Very concerned. And uh, they asking themselves, can we get him for that bus? Like they did in 2008 or 2009. Uh, where are Ma Matthew and Jasmine? Why Suzanne and Sumaya are still in South Carolina? <clears throat> Why no one give me an answer and they weren't concerned for the last 30 years when all my children had been kidnapped? Because just simply because who I am and where I come from and what I believe, what I stand for. All right? Everyone, everyone went there to, you know, they just said, oh, Muhammad Shiban is a terrorist and he's from Egypt and he's, he, he's Muslim. <laughs> like Mr. Obama. <laughs> he admit that he was a Muslim. That's a heinous crime. And they still asking me who did what and what, when, and we very concerned. I'm concerned, Pongs, where are my children? The little ones and Suzanne and Sumaya. Why, why are they still there? Why? Why I'm not able to talk even to them? Why are they staying with a pig, with a racist Pong that can continue to commit crimes against them? He has crimes, he hate crimes. All right? hate statement and crimes and abuse, all right? And they are not concerned. Every agent that I encounter that harassed me, uh, asked me were very concerned. And when I told them what I'm concerned about, my children, what are they? They have no answer. The Department of Injustice has no answer. No one has any answer for Muhammad Shiban and millions of others that they continue to commit the crimes against them just to, to place them in the system. They are kidnapped by the CPS, social services. And it's not only happening in California, happening all over the country. All over the country. And not only children. They're kidnapping everyone to put them in the system as accounts for corporate America and the Sahyuniya Al-Alamiya to prey on us and keep on us in the status quo and telling us that we have no other choice. Pongs, we do. We are Ummati Muhammad. We are here. We don't get intimidated and we don't compromise our deen. We are not in our face. We are not homegrown imams. We are not uh, Muslims of North America. We are not care and don't care and helping hands and killing hands. All of this. We ummati Muhammad. We ummati Muhammad. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Make a note of it. I want to answer. Where are my children? Where are my babies? And why are they staying with this criminal? This punk. Right? And why I am not able even to speak to them, talk to them, even a phone call. Where are they? I'm very concerned, fellas. You punks. You punks. Anyway, that's it. I just want to give them the message. And uh, uh, again, answers. Answers. Department of Injustice, answers, please. For all these crimes that you've been committing against everyone. Everyone. I'm not able to protect uh, us here. Here in this country. And then you're going all over the place and telling them freedom, this and freedom, that, and democracy here and democracy there. We are Mati Muhammad again. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. We are here. We are, don't get intimidated. Our deen is not for sale or, or, or negotiation. Okay, Deen Allah and the Amrullah Nafith, and uh, make a note of it, right? Answers, where are my children? And why Suzanne and Sumaya still in South Carolina? Where is the rights, inheritance and all? 
What is the social security? What is everything that has been taken away from them? What happened to millions of others, children and all, that the state keep preying on committing crimes, states, and the federal government is taking a number, pawns, answers. Thank you. You all have a nice day now, fellas.